Hello everyone. Here we are again, surrounded by green. I just love it. And what I discovered today, I knew of course, because whatever we experience, we experience again and again and again. And we do so because it takes a time to sink in. And some things even can take a lifetime. I hope or I really know that with some essentials we need to learn, it doesn't have to take a lifetime. Not in this period we go through at the moment. There's a global change happening. And uh, what I find is that we are connecting to something in us on a day-to-day -day basis that seems to be our comfort zone, that seems to be that which we know about ourselves. And we, ret we kind of retreat into that repeatedly. You know, we make, an, we make a, a great experience, you know, we uh, uh, develop enthusiasm and, and uh, um, a step beyond our comfort zone and then we go to sleep and then we wake up into, into our old self. And then, well, that's what I do. You know, I, I seem to be looking for what was it again? You know, what was it again that, that I felt yesterday? You know, how, how clear am I about it? And uh, the incredible experience I just had was that as soon as somebody challenges me to come up with the goods, you know, as soon as somebody asks me a question about something important in life, about something concerning our evolutionary process, our, of our personal process, I, I find it n not difficult at all to come up with the goods. You know, because it's, it's really, it's so clear. It's, it's only that my own mind, my own thought is often standing in the way of, of being clear about it. You know, of, of, uh, um, you know it's, it's because I still identify myself with what thinks. You know, that uh, a thought, our mind, is an essential tool. But it's not our true identity. It's a tool that we have to learn how to use. Our identity lies in the beating of our hearts. That lies in, in the vibration that connects our heart with the earth, with the plants with the sun and the clouds, with that which is real, with, the, with that which makes the difference in between the real world and a photography. You know, you take a photography of the most beautiful sunset and you soon realize, I mean, it's laughable, isn't it? You soon realize that, that um, a real sunset speaks to you in a totally different way. It is real. And by this f feeling of, of, of reality, we know how to distinguish for ourselves which way we have to go, what decision we have to make. You know, the closer we are to our heart, the better it is for us 
every day. So let's do it. Thanks for listening to me. <laughs> I'm always happy, you know, if uh, when I can make a document about it. You know, maybe I have to leave. Who knows? You know, and so I, I leave this for myself and for you. <laughs> Great. Okay. See you. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Maybe I make it. Okay? Bye-bye.